in Zimbabwe. Sugar isn't what sweetens your tea. It's an entire industry that employs thousands, supports communities, and powers the economy. But have you ever wondered how tall green sugar cane stalks are transformed into fine white sugar on your table? Today, we take you behind the scenes of sugarcane processing in Zimbabwe from farming to factory. The process begins in the low veiled regions of Tiredzi and Triangle, home of Zimbabwe's largest sugar estates. Sugarcane is harvested either by hand, using machets, or mechanically using harvesters. Once cut, the can must be transported quickly to the mill, usually within 24 hours, because the sucrose content begins to decline once the can is cut. Trucks loaded with fresh cane head straight to processing factories like Hippo Valley and Triangle Sugar. At the mill, the sugar cane is first weighed to record the tonnage delivered by each farmer. It is then offloaded onto conveyor belts and chopped into smaller pieces. Powerful shredders then crush the sugarcane to expose the fibers and release the juice. This step is called milling. The leftover fibrous material, called bagus, is not wasted. It's used as fuel to power the factory boilers, making the entire process energy efficient. The shredded can passes through a series of heavy rollers that squeeze out the sugarcane juice. Imagine squeezing juice from sugarcane at home, but on an industrial scale. Extracted juice contains sugar, water, fibers, and impurities. While the juice is collected, the bagasse is transported to the boilers to generate steam and electricity for the factory. The raw juice is dark green and full of impurities, so the next step is clarification. Lime is added to the juice to neutralize acids and help impurities settle. The juice is then heated and allowed to settle in large tanks. Mud and impurities sink to the bottom while the clarified juice, now golden in color, is drawn off for further processing. The clarified juice still has a lot of water. To concentrate it, the juice is boiled in multiple effect vaporators. Steam from the boilers is the juice, evaporating most of the water. The result is a thick, sweet syrup, just like molasses in texture. Next comes crystallization, the heart of sugar making. The syrup is transferred to vacuum pans where it is further boiled under reduced pressure. Seed crystals are added and as the syrup cools, sugar crystals begin to form. The mix of sugar crystals and molasses is called Massacute. The massacute is spun in high speed centrifuges which separate the sugar crystals from the molasses. The crystals are then washed, dried with hot air, and cooled. What's left is raw sugar, coarse golden brown grains. This raw sugar can be sold as it is or refined further to make white table sugar. To produce the white fine sugar found in shops, raw sugar is melted, filtered, and treated with carbon and phosphates to remove color. It is then recrystallized into pure white sugar. This sugar is dried, graded, and sent to the packaging plant. In the final stage, sugar is packed into different sizes, 2 kg family packs, 50 kg industrial bags, and bulk shipments. From here, it is transported to supermarkets, bakeries, beverage companies, and exported to regional and international markets. Nothing goes to waste in sugarcane processing. Bagas powers the factory and sometimes generates excess electricity for the national grid. Molasses is used to make ethanol, livestock feed, and even rum. 
Filter mud is recycled as fertilizer in cane fields. This makes sugarcane one of the most sustainable crops in Zimbabwe's agricultural history. The sugar industry is one of Zimbabwe's largest employers, providing jobs to tens of thousands in farming, milling, packaging, and transport. It contributes significantly to the economy through exports and supports entire towns like Triangle and Chiredzi. So, next time you steer sugar into your tea, remember the long journey it took from fields of the lower veld through powerful machines to your cup. That's the story of how sugarcane is processed into sugar in Zimbabwe. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Zimbabwe's agribusiness, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more farming and processing stories. This is Profit in Zim, turning farming into fortune.